We recently had the postponement of the Conor Ben versus Chris Eubank Jr. boxing match due to an adverse finding in the drug test of Conor Ben. The substance that was found was called clomiphene or clomid and it's a drug used to treat fertility issues in both men and women. But he's not the first sports person to have had this substance show up in a drug test. Two examples are former NFL wide receiver Golden Tate, who was pinged back in 2019, and John Jones in the UFC has also tested positive for this substance. Both athletes citing fertility issues as the reason for it being present in their sample. So why is this fertility medication banned in competitive sports? Traditionally, if we talk about performance enhancing drugs or PEDs, our mind goes straight to anabolic steroids the main one being testosterone, something that's produced naturally in our bodies. But if we want to increase the level of testosterone in the body, we could either inject it straight in, or we could take drugs that boosted the production. But there are a lot more ways that we can manipulate the hormone levels in our body in order to increase that testosterone production. Clomiphene is one of these substances. But let's have a look at the basic physiology pathways to see how testosterone is created in the male body, and then we'll refer that back to how the medication interacts with that. Within the brain, we've got the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. The hypothalamus regulates our body's temperature and also stimulates the production of different hormones. With regards to the production of testosterone, the hypothalamus releases gonadotrophin-releasing hormone, or GNRH, and that triggers the pituitary gland to release two hormones called follicular stimulating hormone, or FSH, and luteinizing hormone, LH. These two substances travel all the way down to the testicles, where specific cells called Leydig cells are stimulated by luteinizing hormone in order to produce testosterone. Some of this testosterone goes on to form estrogen, and then this makes up one big feedback loop. If the hypothalamus senses there's too much estrogen in the body, it will slow down or stop production of those specific hormones that go on to produce testosterone until we fall below that threshold, and then that will kickstart the process and that feedback loop to start all over again. Clomiphene or Clomid is a selective estrogen receptor modulator or a CERM. It blocks the receptors in the hypothalamus that recognize estrogen. So if the hypothalamus doesn't detect estrogen being present, it will just keep producing the hormones that go on to produce testosterone. And this is why they're a banned substance. They indirectly increase the production level of testosterone in the body. In the past, sports people who have tested positive for these substances have all cited and claimed that they're taking it for infertility reasons and that they didn't realize it was on the banned list and that it boosted their testosterone levels. Now, I don't pretend to know the life situation of all of these athletes, I've never met any of them, and perhaps they do have infertility issues and are desperate to improve their chances of starting a family. If that's the case, then as a father myself, I wish you all the best with that. But as an athlete, they are totally responsible and accountable for any substance they take and it's their responsibility to make sure that they check whether it's a banned substance. So in that respect, they have no sympathy from me. But let's take you through the process of how easy it is to find out so that you can see there really is no excuse. So I thought we'd do a little test and see how long it does actually take us to find out that clomiphene is a banned substance. So we've got our stopwatch ready. So let's go. So the best place to start is probably the World Anti-Doping Agency banned substances list on the end there as well there we go yeah i've been to this site before now this site does take a little while to kind of catch up it gets a little bit frozen when you first go in so you won't be too quick in expecting it to do anything it does seem that it gets overwhelmed quite easy so the prohibited list should we explore the list so you can see different types of categories down here. All S's and M's, glucocorticoids. And this here will say when they're banned. So glucocorticoids are a type of drug banned in competition. Cannabinoids banned in competition. Seen, uh, <laughs> seen, seen and gel doping. Gene and cell doping is banned at all times. Okay, so that's just to give you some context there. So let's put in clomiphene and here we go it's come down 
hormone and metabolic modulators in the S4 category all times. Comes up in the sidebar here. The following hormone and metabolic modulators are prohibited. Now it's not an aromatase inhibitor. It's not what we talked about before. But it is a selective estrogen receptor modulator, so a CERM, as we talked about before. And there we go, there's clomiphene just in there. So that's taken us just over a minute and a half to save an athlete from having a potentially adverse drug test. But thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. All the best. Bye-bye.